The second of the three groups of carbohydrates that you will need to know are the disaccharides, di meaning two and saccharide meaning sugar. So two monosaccharides bonded together make a disaccharide and this is what it looks like. We have two six-sided carbon rings bonded together. For this second group of carbohydrates, not only do you need to know the names of these three disaccharides, but you also need to know their building blocks. The first disaccharide we're going to talk about is sucrose. Sucrose is the scientific name for table sugar. And if I asked you what table sugar tastes like, you would probably tell me it tastes sweet. So it makes sense then that one of the building blocks for sucrose is fructose, the sweetest monosaccharide. And remembering that sucrose is a disaccharide made from two monomers, the other monomer or building block is glucose. The second disaccharide you need to know is called lactose. And I'm pretty sure if I asked you where you find lactose, you would tell me in milk or milk products. I'm sure we've all heard of or know people who are lactose intolerant. Those people who are lactose intolerant have lots of stomach problems whenever they ingest milk products. Lactose is made from a monosaccharide that sounds much the same. So one galactose molecule and one glucose molecule make up lactose. The third disaccharide is called maltose and it is made from two glucose molecules. Notice that glucose is at least one of the building blocks for all three disaccharides. You will hear a lot about maltose in Unit 8 while studying the digestive system as maltose is produced in the first step of the breakdown of starch, which brings us to the third and final group of carbohydrates called the polysaccharides.